Inside SpaceX's insane headquarters, Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with little more than a handful of staff, an empty office in Los Angeles, and a mariachi band. Today, the rocket company employs more than 5,000 people, has received about $1.6 billion in funding, and is increasingly disrupting a storied space industry. SpaceX has branched out from relatively small orbital rockets to heavyweight lifters that undercut the competition fourfold. It's also developing the most expansive satellite internet network in history, while pushing to build spaceships capable of sending 100 people to Mars at a time. To get that work done, though, it's investing millions in remodeling and building new facilities all over America. But there's only one facility that can be crowned as its headquarters. Today we're going to take a look inside SpaceX's insane headquarters at Hawthorne and what they behold. What is it that these headquarters have that makes them different from the other HQs of multi-billion dollar tech companies? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more. So let's dive right in. SpaceX has been putting wins on the board ever since the company, founded by serial entrepreneur Elon Musk, became the first privately funded group to put a payload into Earth orbit in 2008. Since then, the company has continued to impress, launching unmanned cargo vehicles into the International Space Station and winning a contract from NASA to fly astronauts as well as early as 2017. There have been setbacks, most disastrously last June when a cargo rocket bound for the ISS exploded en route, costing the crew much-needed supplies and shaking confidence in the company as a whole. On December 21st, however, Musk bounced back, launching a payload of satellites to orbit and then recovering the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket which landed upright, settling itself down under the power of its own engines, just six miles from the Cape Canaveral launch pad. Recoverable, reusable rocket stages that touch down on dry land have been talked about for decades as a way to keep costs down and speed turnaround times, but no one had been able to do it until now. But where is this space industry titan based, and how does its HQ operate? SpaceX started out in California in 2002 and soon began test launches in the Marshall Islands. Since moving launches to the U.S., however, it has maintained a nearly exclusive American foothold. Today, SpaceX holds footholds in California, Florida, New Mexico, Texas, Virginia, Washington, and Washington, D.C. These locations host offices, launch pads, factories, and test facilities, but the focal and most important location of all is the company's main headquarters in Hawthorne, Los Angeles. SpaceX has an expansive campus just south of the Hawthorne Municipal Airport and Century Freeway, this location also serves as SpaceX's primary manufacturing plant. With over 6,000 employees, the large three-story facility, originally built by Northrop Corporation to build Boeing 747 fuselages, houses SpaceX's office space, mission control, and Falcon 9 manufacturing facilities. The area has one of the largest concentrations of aerospace headquarters, facilities, and or subsidiaries in the U.S., including Boeing McDonnell Douglas main satellite building campuses, Aerospace Corp., Raytheon, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, United States Space Force's Space and Mission Systems Center in Los Angeles Air Force Base, Lockheed Martin, BAE Systems, Northrop Grumman, and ACOM, etc., with a large pool of aerospace engineers and recent college engineering graduates. SpaceX utilizes a high degree of vertical integration in the production of its rockets and rocket engines. SpaceX builds its rocket engines, rocket stages, spacecraft, principal avionics, and all software in-house in their Hawthorne facility, which is unusual for the aerospace industry. The headquarters building is topped with solar panels that form an X in negative space. Next door is a building owned by Tesla, Musk's car company, and nearby are tooling and machining warehouses, where SpaceX fabricates rocket engines and other parts for Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and soon the Mars-capable Big Falcon rocket. Inside SpaceX's headquarters, a scorch-marked Dragon space capsule hangs outside the mission control room as a symbol of the company's greatest achievement since its origin. The Willy Wonka-like rocket factory also serves as a museum of sorts to SpaceX's 16-year history. Outside the headquarters stands a towering rocket booster, the first to fly back to Earth and land instead of being ditched in the ocean. Inside, next to its mission control center, is a charred spacecraft hanging from the rafters, the first commercial capsule to reach orbit and return. Engineers, including Musk, work in an office-free open cubicle layout, less than a minute's walk from where technicians are building rocket engines and machines are welding together space capsules. Leave your desk, walk past a conference room, open a door, and you step into a giant rocket factory. Actually, the first thing you walk past on the factory floor is the open floor plan that is the cafeteria, which is right next to the mission control room 
and then a few steps after that, you walk by the rocket engine assembly line. During lunch, you can watch the software team rehearsing the upcoming mission to the ISS a few feet away to your right. You can hear the construction of aluminum lithium being formed and machined into the cylinders that will form the body of the Falcon 9 rocket just out of sight in front of you. Or watch the complex circuitry of the flight hardware and avionics being inspected under a microscope to your left. More than 80% of the Falcon rocket and Dragon spacecraft are built in-house. From the combustion chamber and nozzle at the bottom of the engine to the capsule and its protective shield at the top. So are you guys enjoying the video? We've taken a tour of SpaceX's main headquarters in Hawthorne, but does the company own and operate any other facilities as well? Where are they located and what purposes did they serve? We know the answers, but do you? So while you think, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant notification about all our future videos. Shortly after Musk founded SpaceX, he scouted for a location to test fire noisy rocket engines and launch prototype spacecraft. He ultimately took over the mothballed Bale Aerospace facility in McGregor, Texas. The site was built by banking billionaire Andrew Bale, already had rocket engine testing stands and was remote enough to not bother too many locals, but close enough to habitation to support an engineering workforce. Rocket parts built in California and elsewhere are put through the ringer in McGregor to make sure they'll stand up to the punishing forces of launch. Used rockets are also refurbished and tested at McGregor. When test launches of rockets go awry, there's plenty of empty space for fiery debris to rain down from the sky without hitting anyone. SpaceX also has several facilities at Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. SpaceX's go-to launch pad is SLC-40 in Cape Canaveral. Rockets are horizontally assembled in a building just south of the launch pad, rolled out to the stand, and slowly tilted vertically. In 2014, SpaceX signed a 20-year lease with NASA for rights to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, which is famous for launching Apollo and Space Shuttle astronauts. SpaceX plans to launch most of its fully upgraded Falcon 9 rockets from the site. Musk's company also recently launched the three-booster Falcon Heavy rocket from here, sending a Tesla car toward Mars. SpaceX is increasingly competing with companies like United Launch Alliance for launches of military payloads, including top-secret spy satellites. To keep up with the pace of these missions, in addition to all the spacecraft it lifts off from Florida, SpaceX leans on the U.S. Air Force's launch site in Lompoc, California. Ultimately, Musk wants to colonize Mars with a giant reusable spacecraft called the Big Falcon Rocket. But with little space in Hawthorne left to build the 348-foot-tall launcher, taller than the Statue of Liberty, SpaceX is looking to lease an 18-acre site in the port of Los Angeles called Birth 240. Despite having developed multiple facilities all across America, SpaceX designs and builds just about everything itself in its main factory at the Hawthorne Airport, where Jack Northrop built his legendary airplanes, including flying wings and fighter jets. Just a handful of years ago, this same building was home to a factory making panels for Boeing 747s. Today it is a self-contained space program, hoping to make spaceflight as inexpensive and reliable as possible. So, what are your thoughts on the amazing SpaceX factory at Hawthorne? Is there another SpaceX facility you like better? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.